Here in the Valley, one organization is helping families in similar situations separated by deportation, and they're relying on some creativity to help. Team 12's Monica Garcia joins us now in Studio 12A to show us how. Hey, Monica. Well, good morning, guys. For several years, it's a group called Aliento, which translates into encouragement. They've been helping kids who have a parent that's been deported. They say, look, they're not pushing any sort of political agenda. They're just giving children the opportunity to express themselves through drawing, painting, all types of art. An era of what some would consider not so subtle racism. Everyone is listening. I really like this one. Even when you think they're not. For the colors, none of them are more important than another. 10 year old Angie Sandoval aspires to one day inspire with her art. My favorite kind of art is abstract. Her interpretation of reality comes through with every sketch. The comments that people say about immigrants, and but this is the reality people are working. So it's a broom. Uh, this is working in the, in the construction. As does her peers. Yeah, it's like, where do you come from? when people ask that. Because this art class is gonna do like a puzzle pizza. Is for children who either have a parent that's been deported or detained from the United States. Then helping them understand that it's not their fault, there's nothing they have done. And then answering the tough questions. The first one is that, why do they hate us? Uh, and then the second comment is that, I am human. Angie was four years old when her father was detained by immigration officials. I remember looking at my sister's eyes and she's telling me that it's going to be okay. Aliento says they're not motivated by any political agenda. Um, I understand this whole legality and policies, all this stuff, but at the end of the day, we're talking about human beings, and we're talking about children who are innocent and trying to figure out their way through life. Because I don't want it to happen again, and you don't know when they're coming back. And so that's what they're offering. Aliento, encouragement. <laughs> And showing that color on a white backdrop, even when you mix them all together, can be seen as something beautiful. Once you come in, you're a bit nervous, but once you come out, you're like smiling. Even she knows at such a young age. Uh, cool side note, the group's founder, her name is Reina Montoya. She made Forbes magazine 30 under 30. So Aliento is still taking students for their summer program. All you have to do is go to our website. That's 12 News and then find the story and click on it. Back to you guys.